with the, a new topic, design of code, reinforced concrete code. What we learned before, all what we learned before, just design key. We designed beam underpending for different cases. Single reinforced, double reinforced, T section. Uh, we designed beam against shear. We designed beam against torsion. Any members or any structure have four internal forces. Axial force, bending moment, shear force, torsion. We designed our beams only due to the effect of bending moment, M ultimate, due to the effect of shear force, V ultimate, due to the effect of torsion, T, T ultimate. Design of beams. For any concrete structure, can you watch this one? So how many elements do you have? We still need we still need to design slabs. Your floor, your slab, itself. We have different type of slab. <coughs> uh, we need to design column today. Here is your column. Because we already learned how to design beam. These beams. That's right. We will learn how to design foundation, footing. This block called footing. So design footing. So we still need to learn how to design column this week, how to design slabs, maybe after exam two, how to design footing. So we still also need to understand or learn something which is more important. Anybody need to ask something? Bending moment on your beam. Shear force in your beam. Torsion in your beam. We learn it, your bending moment is given. The problem said, hey, your dead load equal number. Your life load equal number. So we can figure out 1.2, dead load one plus 1.6 life load, that's right? We need to create all of these numbers. We have a structure like this. We have a slab. We are light load. We are here. What is the load in your beam? What is the bending moment on this beam? What is the shear force? What is the, what is the torsion? What is the reaction on this column? What is the moment and the shear and the everything in your slab? We need to solve a complete structure, <coughs> a complete building. Actually, we are trying right now to solve each part in your building. During our project, we will solve a complete structure using RISA floor. RISA floor will not design, we will not use it for design, but will help us to build our structure and make structure analysis to get your internal forces. Hey, from RISA floor, I can tell you moment on this beam equal a number. Shear on this beam equal a number. Torsion on this beam equal a number. Get your numbers and go ahead and design your beams. You got it? So we still have one more step. How to collect all what we learned in one project. Don't worry, we are trying right now to solve each part. So we finished design of beam. This week we will design of column maybe one one more week for footing and then slabs then we are done with concrete structures we have two types of column sometimes your column is a short column sometimes your column is a long column in our course we will focus on designing short column maybe advanced level of concrete design Long column. What is the main difference between short column and long column? Forget what's written here. I need only one sentence. What do you think? Short column is short. 
Long colon is long. Is that right? Hmm. No? So this is like no? So the length ratio. No? Short or long long does not mean short and long. Does not mean this. <laughs> yes. Short column means we don't have any concern about buckling. Your colon is safe against buckling. But long column, we have a concern about buckling. We have something critical about buckling. So if your colon is safe against the buckling, no effect uh, from buckling on your colon, we can call your colon short column. But if your colon, I don't care what, what is the length, what is the height of your colon. If your colon is uh, under the effect of buckling, we can call the, co uh, call the column long column. So a column is considered, according to ACI, to be short if the ratio of the effective lens to its least lateral dimension is less than or equal 12. Here is your column. That's right. Your cross section has two dimensions. H, B. Your column has a lens, L. We don't care about L. We, our concern is KL. Anybody here remember what is the value of K? Depends. Depends. Yeah, depends. Depends. What is the end of condition? Your column is uh, hinged, 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 fix it, fix it, fix it, or fix it free. The same like, co uh, the, like steel, exactly. So KL over or divide the least dimension value, which is B. If the ratio between the effective lens, which called KL, to its least lateral dimension is less than or equal, smaller than or equal, 12, your column called short. Call. So maybe, maybe your length of your column, your height, 30 feet, 50 feet, 100 feet, I don't care. But the ratio less than or equal to 12, your column is still short. But if the ratio between effective lens and the least <coughs> dimension greater than 12, your column can be considered long column, according to ACR. So long column is considered to be long if the ratio of the effective lens to the least lateral dimension is greater than 12. Buckling tendency is very low. I have no concern about buckling if your column is short. Long and slender column buckle, easy. The load carrying capacity is high. If your column is short column, your carrying capacity, the strength is very high, very strong column. But if your column is long, it's not strong enough like the short column. The failure of the short column is by crashing of concrete. Failure is uh, due to buckling in long column. So don't say the main difference between short column and long column from the meaning short and long. No. Short column, no effect of buckling. Your column is very strong. The ratio between effective lens and the least dimension uh, value, less than or equal to it. But if your column is long, your column not strong enough. We have a concern about buckling, failure due to buckling, and the ratio between the effective lens and B is greater than 12. Any question? Any question? Please don't say this again. The difference between short and long don't, don't put it in your mind. Because last semester, I asked a senior student 
in the spring semester, hey, what is the difference between short and long? They answered the same answer <laughs> after they took a uh, concrete uh, course. So it's not acceptable the, uh, to, to say the difference between short and long. Short and long just meaning, just expressions, but we have a meaning behind. <coughs> we have many, we have many different shape of your code. <coughs> yeah, I know we are in a, 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 I will not say a city or a state, in a country, the enforced concrete building, it's not the common building. Most of the building here made from wood. It's very rare you can find reinforced concrete structures. Oh, Maybe steel that. structure is, is common also. But for reinforced concrete, it's not common. That's right? Only for high rise. Houses, yeah. Only for high rise building. Yeah. But I'm talking about uh, two floors, three floors, uh, five stories. Uh, just for reinforced concrete, it's not uh, common in here. So maybe for reinforced concrete, it's, you are not familiar with all of this stuff. But uh, yeah, things change. Nobody know what will happen. So we have three different types of coal. We have three different types of coal. The first one called tight column. The second one called spiral column. The third one called composite column. Maybe composite column related to steel structure mainly. Uh, so we will focus only on these two columns in concrete design. Tight column and spiral column are the same exactly, except one thing. Can you figure out what is the difference from your figure, from the figures? The stirrups or like. Tied column, can you watch these stirrups? They are completely separate. But for spiral column, we have only one bar rotated around the vertical bars. Your ties or your, I'm sorry, your stirrups are spiral. Only one bar, one single bar, rotated about around your vertical bars. So the only difference between tight column and the spiral column, not the shape. Maybe we have a spiral column with a square cross section. Maybe we, we have tight column with circular cross section. But the main difference between your column is tight or your column is a spiral, what is the shape of your Stirrups. You got it? Okay. Uh, the third one, which called the composite column, actually your, your steel reinforcement not looks like bars, but maybe we have a steel tube filled with concrete. Maybe we have white shape column white flange embedded in your concrete. Maybe both of them at the same time, steel tube with embedded cross-section steel filled with concrete. In this case, your column called composite because we have concrete and the steel member at the same time. Any question so far? Any question? So we need to understand, to learn something, some concepts. The first one, what is the main difference between short column and long column? The second one, what are the types of your column? 90% of column in your building, normal building, tight column. A little bit, maybe a bridge, spiral column. But if your building is a high-rise building, you are over 50 stories or 100, something like uh, uh, things in 
Chicago or New York, no, you will find composite coal. Very huge. Is, is there another benefit to using a spiral? I, I don't think I've ever seen, I've seen uh, spiral yes. columns, but I haven't seen the spiral rebar. No, no, wait, wait, wait. What you mean, I saw spiral column, but I didn't see <laughs> Yeah, I've seen tiles. Column. You see this shape as a tile. Yeah. So if your cross section is circular cross section and your stirrups separate stirrups, you are talking about tight column. Oh, tight column. You, you can call the column the spiral column <coughs> if only. I don't care what is the shape. If only your stirrups is a spiral. Okay. okay? This one is very stronger than this one in earthquake. Because you make very perfect confinement for your vertical bars by this spiral. Okay? So ties hold longitudinal bars in place during construction. This is the first purpose of these stirrups to keep the position of the, the vertical bars. Ties prevent longitudinal bars from buckling after covered spells during failure. Tight columns are usually, but not always, rectangular in shape. Not all the time, maybe circular, maybe square. Spirals are more effective than ties in increasing column strengths. Spiral columns are more expensive than tight columns. It's not easy to apply the spiral stirrups. Uh, spiral columns are better for seismic application can support lateral load more effective than the tied column. So from this slide, we need to learn something. What is the main kinds of your column? Sp uh, tied, spiral, composite. What is the difference between this one and this one and this one? One more time. The main difference between tied column and the spiral column, not the shape of your cross section. Maybe you have a spiral column with a square. Maybe you have tight column with circular cross section. But the main difference, what is the shape of the stirrups? <coughs> Let's start 